Our next inductee is Terry Thielen. Oh, congratulations um, on, on the induction into the Hall of Fame. Tell me the secret of being a good photographer. Is it being in the right place at the right time or is there a bit more to that? Well, it's a bit more than that. Uh, you've got to be there on the start, of course. You need your reflexes and your, uh, you've got to... When we started off, of course, there was no autofocus cameras, so you had to be able to focus on things that were moving fast and make sure you got them sharp. And uh, things have changed, obviously, since then. Things have changed. Now people are taking pictures with their mobile phones and the clarity is unbelievably good. <laughs> Cannot believe it. People taking photos now. Yeah, you're well known for uh, taking an iconic shot of Rufus Youngblood, the uh, Secret Service agent for then US President Lyndon Johnson. Many of you would recall that shot. It was during a visit, I think, back in 1966. He was splattered in paint on the back of the presidential limousine during a demonstration. Take us through that photo. Well, when he came to town, there were two flat trucks that came through the city with him. Um, straight down Swanson Street, people were throwing flowers. The Secret Service people were catching them. And then he went to South Yarra to, I think, Dame Mabel Brooks's place. And while he was leaving there, a young protester threw the red and green paint over him. And Rufus Youngblood, who's the, one of the two guards on the back, pointed the, his finger at him. And uh, I was fortunate to be on the right side of the truck and got the picture. Then off they went and he went to government house for a function. And the photo went right around the world? The photo ran on the, in the sun on about page 17 <laughs> because we didn't, we didn't want to upset LBJ. It ran on the front page in America under the heading Aussie smear LBJ. <laughs> when I was printing the picture in the darkroom, uh, one of the old iconic hard news journos, Tom Pryor, walked in and the walk they ordered that stage was 100 pound. And he said, I'll give you 50 quid for it now, and if it wins, I'll take the 100. <laughs> <laughs> I said, sorry, Tom, I want to uh, keep this one for myself. And it, it, fortunately, it did win that year. Yeah, and a great photo too. Terry, congratulations. Thanks.